this video, let's see about the end amoeba histalytica. Before going into the brief concept of end amoeba histalytica, first you should know where it is placed. It is placed under the category of parasite. Then what is parasite? Parasite is an organism who is dependent on another organism for its nutrition and survival. These category of organisms are placed under parasite. Parasite are divided into two, protozoan and helminthus. Under protozoan, the entamoeba histolytica plays a major role as pathogenic. Amoeba it is a single celled protozoan. It can constantly change its shape. The amoeba, it came from Greek word amoebi. It means to change. So, the amoeba can constantly change its shape according to the environment or its surrounding. Amoeba is divided into two based on its habitat. Habitat means where it can reside or where it can lives. It can be intestinal and free living amoeba. Intestinal amoeba means these type of amoeba can only depend on intestine. In free living amoeba, Apart from intestine, it can live in environment freely. It is an independent. In free living amoeba, example, Nacleria fowleri. Intestinal amoeba is again divided into two, pathogenic and non-pathogenic. For pathogenic intestinal amoeba, example is Entamoeba histolytica. Pathogen means it can cause disease to the host. Entamoeba histolytica. Its morphology. It have three main stage. First is trophozoite. Second is pre cyst form. And the third is cyst form. Trophozoite. It has these components. Pseudopodium. These ectoplasm. And the center one is nucleus. The trophozoite stage is considered as an invasive feeding and replicating form. It has three terms invasive, feeding and replicating. Feeding means only at this stage, at this trophozoite stage, it can feed on others. And it is a replicating form means only at this stage it can uptake nutrients from other organism and it multiply itself and this trophozoite is found in feces of patients with active dysentery this trophozoite were only found in patients with active dysentery and the second component of trophozoite is cytoplasm Cytoplasm have two component, the ectoplasm and the endoplasm. Ectoplasm looks like clear, like this way. It is clear. And the endoplasm have granules. So, it names as granular endoplasm. In endoplasm, it have OBC, WBC, food vacuoles, tissue debris and bacteria. These things are three things are possessed because the trophozoite stage is feeding form. While it feeding, some residues of bacteria or tissues can sediment on its endoplasm. And the third part of this trophozoite is pseudopodium. It is called as an organ of locomotion because Using this pseudopodia, it can move to one place to another. The pseudopodia originate from the ectoplasm. It protrude out of the ectoplasm 
and it looks like a finger like projection and nucleus nucleus it have single nucleus it looks like spherical in shape and the size of the nucleus is 4 to 6 micrometer and the center of nucleus it has karyosome and the karyosome it is a compact form compact mean it is densely packed inside the nucleus and it is surrounded by peripheral chromatins chromatin or nothing but combination of DNA and protein is considered as an chromatin the space between the karyosome and the nuclear membrane in the, this in between space is arranged by radial spokes these radial fibrils are called as euchromatic fibrils and the second stage is precist it is called as an intermediate stage because it is placed in between of trophozoite and cyst stage precist it looks like oval with blunt pseudopodia means the pseudopodia is not fully grown it is just some minute protrudus outside so blunt pseudopodia the food vacuoles and rbc they don't appear in this precist stage because they are not in the viable form only in trophozoite stage it is viable because it is the feeding stage it can feed here it is not a feeding stage so we cannot see food vacuoles and rbc in it and the nuclear structure looks same as that of trophozoite and the third stage is cyst stage it is the infective and diagnostic stage of parasite again it have two terms infective and diagnostic form infective means it is ready to infect another host so it is called as an infective form why it is considered as diagnostic form means uh, we cannot see trophozoite or precyst in the stool of the patients only the presence of cyst we can diagnose the patient who is suffered from this disease or not this cyst is present in feces of carriers carriers are those who possess this cyst or this cycle they won't show any symptoms because they are immunity against this trophozoite so these cysts are survive in those host as and carriers and patients with active disease cyst can also present in the patients with active disease cysts are present only in the gut lumen it is present in the large intestine first it is in the nucleated form and again it divides into binucleated quadrinucleated the quadrinucleated form is considered as a matured form in the matured form of cyst it has four nucleus in the immature form of cyst it have glycogen and chromatid body these two components are absent in the mature cyst epidemiology entamoeba histolytica causes amoebiasis in the patient who is infected with entamoeba histolytica it occurs in china central and south america in indian subcontinents 10 percentage of people is affected with amoebiasis in india the prevalence rate is around 3.6 to 4.7 prevalence rate is nothing but the condition of the disease in the past and the present these both are organized into a range the higher prevalence rate is reported in maharashtra tamil nadu and chandigarh